Um, each year, we uh, we send out and, and ask for nominations. We say, okay, we, we wanna, you know, let's see what, what your partners are doing in your schools. Um, tell us the good things that are, that are happening. This year was probably, um, since I've been doing this the last six years, this was the largest number of nominations we've had in that six years. It was, it was incredibly difficult to look at those. You know, at first glance, you read through them and you think, okay, so, you know, there's 20 something nominations here and, and all of these um, are deserving of something. And so it, it really is difficult to boil that down to look at, at those partnerships that, that really exemplify what Partners in Education is all about. So we're gonna start with some partnerships of distinction. And, um, you know, these are, are, these partnerships are any, any other year, any other time, would be a recipient of a Partner of the Year award. It's just, there's so many awesome things going on. And so we're not gonna spend a lot of time um, talking about them. We wanna hear more about the partnerships. And so I wanna begin um, the first, if I can have the folks from Fellowship Bible Church in Parson Hills join me. Um, we're gonna talk a little bit about that partnership. Um, So when I reached out to, um, to Heather, I said, tell me about this partnership. And I think she's gonna be one of the first to tell you that, that this partnership's been long ongoing and, and long going in her building, but it's been very transformational. with Fellowship Bible Church, and it would probably be easier to talk about what they don't do for us rather than what they do do for us, because they do so many different things. This is Ms. Kathy Webster, and I think she's going to talk here in just a minute and introduce our other friends, Ms. Doris and Ms. Kim, um, but they were already, had a partnership with Parson Hills when I started three years ago, but every year I think they just keep adding to what they're helping us with. I don't think we've ever asked them for support, and they said, no, no thank you, can't do that. Um, they help us with stick horse rodeos. They made 100 stick horses, which is very fun with first grade little fingers <laughs> and their fine motor skills with patience and grace and they're smiling the whole time. They help us with our back to school um, hot dog suppers and serving our children. Um, they not only serve our students, though, they also do a lot of work serving our staff. They all bring in meals or just positive notes of encouragement. Um, when we um, send home over I think 1,200 um, bags with our students of food for Christmas break, which is very important to our heart. That's the longest stint that our students have without um, food from school um, to support them. They came in and they not only helped us bag up all those bags of food, but when we ran short of fruit, they were the first ones to say, got it. And within 20 minutes, here they are with tons of fruit to finish those bags. So those are just a few examples of how they not only touch us through their service, but also through their heart. And they just, our kids love them. They get excited when they see them. Um, the smiles that they bring to our students' faces. They know that these are people who love them and care about them regardless. Well, we thank you so much for this recognition. But truly, um, our church is honored um, by giving us this opportunity to reach out to the community. And um, to be a part of the, of the lives of many of these children that attend uh, Parson Hills and um, not only who are attending, but who have attended in the past. Um, just to, we're so blessed to be able to serve these kids, um, just to help them to know the kind of person that God wants them to be. And then to be loving and to show kindness and respect for each other and for their teachers. And we understand that many of these children come from uh, very difficult circumstances and to help them understand that there is hope for them. But you know, as we have served Parson Hills through the Bible Club and through the, the barbecues and the things that uh, Heather has mentioned, uh, the teacher luncheons and, and putting those horses together, well, that was really special. And for that rodeo. But we've been able uh, to witness the deep personal um, 
commitment of the teachers and the staff for these children. And this goes beyond education. It goes to the caring that they show for their students and the love that they have for them. And that that would be take, take an end to their future. And I know that Parson Hills is just representative of all the schools in the Sp Springdale school system. And so we just applaud you and you, we just uh, are so blessed to be able to witness them this uh, and then to come alongside of, of uh, the school and we just hope that this will go on for many, many years to come. So thank you so very much. Thank you. 